Welcome along wherever you are, Radio Hefner FC with Montgomery Waters. And uh, if you're listening from Leamington, we don't mean it. <laughs> so Hereford versus Leamington in this National League North fixture under the lights. Yes, somebody's put some money in the meter and we're away on this Tuesday night. And it's Leamington to get us underway. Bit of passing by Leamington, very uncharacteristic as Simeon May tries to get on the end of it. Tino manages to just do enough to snuff out that chance quick passes in and around the box so be an in swinging corner from that left hand side it's floated in and Dino has to make sure he tips it up over his crossbar and had a play for another throw and it was right in towards the uh, the net as, as far as Holmes in a Hereford shirt Holmes tries to get past Meredith then he's got Theo Street and Simeon May he turns back and chips it in towards Ryan McLean Try, first time we've seen Ryan McLean's pace in behind Hereford their first attack of the game. Back towards Pinchard. Pinchard's float ball in. Wasn't good enough. And uh, nowhere near Barnet. And then Hereford failed to put the press on uh, number three, Lewis Hall, who was laboured about his clearance. Big men are up from the back. Thompson and Haynes. It's in towards the six-yard box. And then it's Lloyd. And it looks for... Oh, Haynes headed it towards the goal. It looked for all the certainty it was going in, but it was blocked on the line. Dino Visser to uh, Haynes. Haynes spreads it out towards Latty Fairweather. Good touch by Latty Fairweather and gets it away. He's in towards the uh, opponent's half uh, and in towards Holmes. Holmes shoots and it loops up and uh, just past the post. It's deflected and out of play for a corner. Latty Fairweather brought it down inside. So Pinchard will take it. It'll be a uh, delivery from that right-hand side. In swinger from this, his left foot. It's in towards Thompson, but Thompson couldn't quite get it. Falls for Barnett. Barnett shoots and it's deflected. Oh, no, it was sliced. Mm, sliced it it's a great chance it's just right at centre as we said about 20-25 yards out there's a four man wall comprising of about Leamington's Gotta biggest and well, I was going to say make him work shot comes in and it's just over the bar it finds the roof of the net ah, it was just over from Pinchard Latty Fairweather making the run down this left hand side Latty Fairweather fails to control it but then regathers it at the second time of asking Cross flicks it in with a bit of a, a cute back heel towards Holmes Holmes puts pressure on the defence in towards McLean McLean gets a shot away but it just deflected bobbled up towards no man's land inside the box the feet of Pinchard that's a better throw Hanson out towards Haynes Haynes back on his uh, own halfway line now. Floats a ball in towards Barnett. Barnett loops it in towards the path of McLean, but McLean's beaten to it by the on-rushing Callum Hawkins. But this is better from Hereford. A characteristic Haynes long throw. He arcs it towards Barnett, but instead beaten to it by Cook. Then it falls for Haynes. Haynes, pile driver on the half volley. And it's uh, straight down the throat of Callum Hawkins. He did well to control it, Haynes, and get it on target. Radnisher there, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> Barnett Ooh. loops a clearance in towards Thompson. Second time of asking. Couldn't quite get it far enough. Theo Street goes up for it inside the area and gets a shot towards goal. But Dino Visser will do well to cover and clear. Only as far as Jethro Hansen. Jethro in towards Hodgkiss. And then McLean on the edge of the area. McLean on his le least favoured foot. Gets it to Barnett. Barnett gets his shot away, but it's just deflected off lane and parries on through to the goalkeeper. But Latty Fairweather's ball instead found a Leamington pa uh, player he'll get it back though loose passing from Leamington Pinchard on the edge area finds Hodgkiss Hodgkiss gets chance to line one up shoots and it's a long way wide from this left hand side as they attack the Black Riders end <coughs> everyone's in that side that six yard box Hodgkiss is the first man he just about slices a clearance Kelly Evans has another go floated in towards the towards the goal and uh, it landed on the net Ooh, roof of the net and Mardy Holloway's coming on Louis Hall Louis Hall with just Hodgkiss to beat floats in towards the area but Haynes heads clear Pinchard will have to battle away at the uh, back stick and he loses out Kelly Evans recycles it well in towards the right back got plenty acres of space it's fizzed across goal and instead Tom Hewlett couldn't quite get there but nor could a Hereford shirt and he goes all the way out of play on the edge of the area back towards Haynes he's a bit far out to shoot just inside Leamington's half he floats it with his less favoured left foot in towards Amadi. Amadi knocks it down Holmes isn't quite there but Amadi is Amadi flicks it back across ball, ball and then Story can't quite shoot Story's gathered up in feet but can't quite get the shot away 
from that right hand side in swinger from Pinchard in towards a good area they've gone out for it it's just over Amadi Ryan Lloyd could have shot lays it off for Story Story back in towards the area for McLean can, nobody can quite manage to get a shot away Holmes on the edge of the area Holmes shoots falls out towards Jan Kukowski Jan shoots and it's in towards oh, the side let net it go in. For a corner should have let it go 